Have you been given the opportunity to work from home now and you're feeling overwhelmed in this new environment? Looking for ways to be consistently productive? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. Hi, Charlotte here from the Volts team in the Inland Empire in the high desert, bringing you tips, insights, and updates to help you operate in this new home environment mode of working. At the same time, feeling you're accomplishing and being positive. Now, before we get started, click the subscribe button below if you haven't done that already and ring the bell so that you're notified of upcoming Choose tips, insights, and updates which we post weekly. And today we're talking about being productive in this new workspace, which many of you are in. And it's this home workspace. This week I've had the pleasure of collaborating with several successful people on my different masterminds, also my business partners, around how to productively work in this new environment in a way that gives you a feeling of accomplishment and success towards your job goals. At the same time, living successfully within a positive family environment. And from those conversations, I would like to share the top 10 insights for you to put into play and add a new level of productivity and more joy to your work days. Number one, first check your internet speed as that will add to or eliminate some frustrations. You can go to fast.com to check your speed and if it's inadequate, either upload or download, you can then contact your provider and request more speed, which they can talk you through and hit a button to increase it. Number two is a six second screen. It's invaluable for productivity. You can be looking at things that may go together at that same time, for instance, an email with a question and then information on the second screen that could then be answered in that email. You could drag over to send as a response or for researching a problem, pulling up information on both screens to compare and contrast. And then another would be pulling up a phone number on one screen, information on the second to convey on the call what you're trying to accomplish. A third thing is to have Bluetooth, which allows hands-free for talking on the phone. And if you're in need of these items, try contacting the company you're working for. They generally are very happy to get the tools to you that you need quickly so you can better accomplish the projects and daily activities they have. Number four is set up a separate space. It could be a master bedroom closet, a guest room, a sectioned off area of the garage. This is a space where when you are there, you are working. And then number five, plan your day in advance with your must do's and attack the must do that you least want to do first. That's called eat the frog. This will give an endorphin release, a sense of accomplishment, a feeling of joy to push your momentum forward and allow more positive energy coming from you to those around you. Number six, communication is so key. Connect with your team, your boss, your partners, so they know what you're doing. And the lines of connection are open for collaboration on projects which always are more robust with group creative input. This also lets everyone know you are contributing and you are all in this together. This will be huge in the days, weeks, and months to follow these times that we're in when you're back to your before setting. Number seven, have a morning, an afternoon, and an evening ritual to keep you on track, on task and keep your mental game positive. In your morning and evening ritual, have one step be reflecting on three positive things that happened today in the evening and three things I'm grateful for in the morning. Eat, dress, at least from the waist up, like you're going to work. With a clean shirt, comb your hair, shave or makeup or both. Number nine, take breaks to refresh your mind, recalibrate your brain and creativity, maybe with a walk, with an interaction with your kids, listen to a song, shoot some hoops. And number 10, comment below what are you doing to be productive from your at-home workspace that adds to your productivity and sense of accomplishment. 